Hello everybody, thank you for coming back or for tuning in, even if it's for the first time. Um, today's video is going to be dedicated to soap services. I have done before a video um, in which I explain how to set up a soap client. So this time we're going to work on Tallinn ESB to set up a soap service because I would like to use those uh, swap services in future um, versions with the ETL series and with Tallinn ETL. So let's get started. The first thing that I did is I searched for a whistle specification that I can use for this ex example and I found this one. So I just copied this whole um, definition file download it and this is how it looks actually in my the same file so the next thing that I want to do is um, I need to start working with SOAP UI also for this project make sure that I don't have any lingering stuff here and the next thing I need of course is Talent ESB Talent for ESB, Talent Studio for ESB so here I'm going to create a project I will call this hello world so or hello hello so up service once it is done the first element that I need is the C so up component so the same element can be used to um, as a client and as a service so if I set it at the beginning of my route it will assume that it's going to work as a service so the next thing that we need to do here is uh, go to the settings I like to maximize this and from here we have the type with WSDL URL and it's suggesting me to use a file or I can also use it from repository this time I'm going to use it for a file um, so I click here on the right hand side and I choose my file well I already saved this file and if I'm not mistaken I called it yeah from 857 yeah so a while ago it's a sample one sample one so I double click on my sample one file whistle and the next thing that I want to configure is I just want to make this row data format and that's pretty much what you need to do here so next I like to save and reset this view so I can see the design window again so the next thing that I want to do here is I want to go and probably extract one of the fields from this whistle right so how do I know how this whistle and the service will behave what is it going to receive as a request and what is it going to answer as a response <laughs> then I that's what um, where SOAP UI comes to play so from here on the SOAP UI you go into the SOAP UI SOAP actually create a new SOAP project here I will give it a name I will call this hello world hello world SOAP then I will browse to my SOAP uh, file destination let me just see if I can I already have something this is the destination so I find this file um, this is the sample one and I lift selected the option create request so I click on OK and now I have this SOAP project from here from SOAP UI is working as a client and what I have done so far on Talent ESB is to set up a service so I'm going to use SOAP UI to test that service here um, it suggests me to fill in my name so I will just write my name and that's what it takes for the request so next thing I would like to know is 
well I will need to extract this field right this is the field that I want to extract from the client when the client send this message to my server I want to extract this field and just probably return the same name concatenated with something else so in order to extract that field I will use the CSET header component and I will bind these two together on the header configuration I add a field which I will call name and I choose the language simple for that matter and from here I will just write a simple or a yeah a simple expat expression by the way no I want to have expat because I'm going to yeah write actually an expat expression so my expat expression will be a uh, first name and extract the text out of the field so uh, the next thing I want to do is of course I want to make sure that this is being extracted so I want to print it and for that I use this silo component going down here again I will just express here that I want from headers the one named name to be printed onto the screen and we could test this part of the development if I just build the route and there is running now I need to copy the endpoint from where it's running from where it was deployed bring that onto my SOAP UI copy and paste it in the um, request part address and then fire it so when I fire it it says it's 200 ok everything seems fine but what happened with the name and the name is being printed here but of course it's not giving a proper response because the proper response we don't know yet how it looks like in order to know that I will use SOAP UI to tell me how the response a proper response should look like for this whistle file so what I'm going to do here is now I go and right click on hello binding and scroll a little bit down this um, contextual menu options and choose the generate SOAP mock service click on it and click on OK again OK and now we have a mock service right if I just close this service even this one and go back down to the mock service response and double click on it it will show me how the response will look like so the response will be the greeting response and I would like to say something like hello here and append my name to it so that's what I'm going to do now I copy this response and I will add it as a resource in my project so what I do I go down here to resources drag right click create resource and I call this um, written.xml response written .xml, I'm going to call it I click on finish then I paste my response here and I want that response to concatenate my message my name so it will say hello and it will append my name to this response so for that I just get the header name notice that this time I'm using singular header no headers as before let's see um, I close this file save it and the next thing that I want to do I want to now extract that response so I can send it back to the caller so I set set body I do the set body um, element here double click on it use simple as the language and add here 
resource column class path and then the name of my resource the exact same of my resource which was response greeting dot xml having done so I'm going now onto the dependencies dependencies uh, tab click on it click on add choose my new lead uh, added file response greetings double click on it and that's it now we add to the dependencies and the next thing that I want to do is I want to test this service again let me just save make sure that everything is saved click again on the run button it deploys correctly the same endpoint as I can see here go back to test and I close this response and go back to my this is the mock and I want to be on the request so I click on the request again let me just change the name this time so let's put it Felix and there you go the response is hello Felix Mark hello Mark so that's the basics the fundamentals of a swap service that's how you set it up that's how you set up the response and has that's how you extract fields out of the request and use them um, in the response yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to to show today uh, thanks for watching cheers